Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to deploy a simple Java HTTP cloud function in GCP using GCP console. I have logged into my cloud account. Go to the navigation menu, click cloud functions, click create function. So we will use the environment as second gen because it has more advanced feature set. We need to give a function name. So this is going to be a very simple function. So I'm going to call it as hello Java HTTP and I'm going to leave the region as US Central 1 and then I'm going to select allow unauthenticated invocations. Let's review the runtime and build configurations. So the memory allocated is 256. You can select the different options. I'll select 128 and the CPU is 0 0.083 and the timeout is 60 and the maximum concurrent request per instance is 1 and the minimum number of instance I'm going to give it as 5 and I'm going to leave the uh, service account as the default service account which is the compute engine default service account and if you want to add any runtime environment variables you'll be able to add it click build so if you wanted to add any build worker pool information that you can add it here click connections I'm going to allow all traffic so I am going to leave most of the thing as default click security so if you wanted to add any secret reference you can add here and the encryption you can use either the Google managed encryption key or the customer managed encryption key and the image repository you'll be able to use the Google managed artifact registry or the customer managed artifact registry or the Google container registry I'm going to leave everything as default click next in this time, I'm going to deploy a simple Java HTTP cloud function. So I'm going to select Java 1.7, right? So here you can see the source code, right? So it is going to print the messages, hello world. So which is the one I'm just going to change it as hello from cloud functions. So let's deploy the function click deploy the function is getting deployed while it is getting deployed so let's review the other information In the metrics tab you'll be able to see information about the various metrics once the function is deployed you'll be able to see invocations per second execution time memory utilization instance count all these metrics you'll be able to see here click details in the details tab you'll be able to see the region memory allocated cpu timeout maximum instances concurrency service account all this information you'll be able to see in the details tab in the source you'll be able to see the source code right and if you have defined any variables you'll be able to see here and in the trigger once the function is deployed you'll be able to see the trigger link here and in the permissions you'll be able to see the principles and the roles and in the logs you'll be able to see the logs and in the testing once the function is deployed you will be able to generate a test command which can be executed in the cloud shell it's creating the build the build has been successfully created so it is now creating the cloud run service so now the function has been successfully deployed and here you can see the trigger URL let's click that and here you can see the Java HTTP cloud function is successfully running and you could see the message hello from cloud functions in this demo we have seen how to deploy a simple Java HTTP cloud function in GCP using GCP console if you like this video please like share and subscribe thanks for watching the demo